Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to be taking a flight here with um, the Victoria. Let's see how it goes. A couple people around. Just gotta watch out for them. It's a pretty lightweight quad though, so it should be alright. Oh, that was not a good takeoff. Thought I was gonna get a runaway warning though. It's not. Alright, and we're off. So I'm looking for the little net here. I'm take it easy for a bit. Try to post a bit. So we're gonna take a look at the hover here. Hover's um, 15, 20, maybe even 25. But it's super agile, so. And I have noticed that it's actually pretty good on the oscillation. There is a bit of oscillation there, but, uh, that's alright. So it's more difficult to tune it on 6.5mm prompts, like uh, I had some difficulty with it. It was getting more oscillations, but um, now it's on 3 inch props. It's on the Gemfan 3018s. Do another flip here, maybe backflip. That was uh, pretty awful, but that's uh, okay. Same point, I'm going to do a dive. So as you can see, the battery's sagging a bit. I'm using a 550 GMB, rated up for 80 to 160C. Um, it's a pretty good battery, um, but I think this is pushing it a bit. On three inch, I I use three inch just to show you um, how well it's doing, but really, if I were on my own time, I'd probably be using 65 millimeter. Let's see if I can fit through these ones. Oh, I missed that second one. That's okay. Um, there's a bit of multipathing. I don't know if it's multipathing. It's an interfering. Strange looking. We're getting about two minutes flight time here. Low battery. Actually, we can fly a bit more. I think 3.5 is where I like to land this guy. Most of the newer GMB batteries can handle a bit more current, so maybe you can fly this one for a bit longer. Alright, yeah, I think it's time to come for a landing. So we're still hovering around 20 actually. There we go. So I can show you how I did the battery up here. It's like that. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, and then I'll insert the battery for you. I usually wrap my batteries in a couple of rubber bands, so in case this one snaps, I can uh, replace it. And this one's just uh, one rubber band, so usually I just slide it. Actually, you can even go through the front, but I just slide it through the back. I don't even know if you can see this. That's okay, we'll work it out. Like that, and that, that keeps it away from the three inch props for the most part, and holds it in quite well. There we go, just testing the beepers, all good. And then we can hit record on the DVR. It started flying. Uh, looks like the area behind me is actually clear now. There's nobody behind there, that's good. So I'm running 25 milliwatts right now and the reception isn't perfect, but uh, to be honest, I've failed safe within the range of my reception before, so you're probably going to have your own receiver and that's going to have its own, uh, it's going to have its own range. This guy's a whole lot of fun. Um, it's a lot faster than the micro marathoner. Damn it, I missed the second one again. Yeah, it's a whole lot faster. You can do a whole speed test right there. Uh, 
do a punch out as well. It's gonna sag the battery a bit. Don't want to get it stuck on the roof anywhere, so we're gonna move away from that building. Sometimes quads are a bit unpredictable. So I've had this warning come up a couple times. Don't really know what it means. Um, sometimes I land it, sometimes I don't land it. I kind of want to know. Uh, oh, and it just disappeared. Yeah, I kind of want to know, like, what will happen if I don't land. To be honest, the the flight controller is pretty. Um, exposed in many ways so it shouldn't really have it shouldn't really be too hot there's somebody somebody there stay away from that person This guy's also surprisingly durable. I've had some pretty hard crashes. I'm sure you'll be able to see the crashes later on when uh, I show the full video. But um, yeah, it, it holds up quite well, even the 3D printed frame. I believe I printed it in 80% infill or near 100%. It's still pretty light, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come for the landing here.